do about a million oysters a year. So at any given time, we have you know six million oysters coming up through the pipeline. You know what I mean? So right now, this year, we set 1.75 million oysters. So you know, in the course of two weeks, I increased the population in this river by a million and three quarters. What we do is more like ranching than farming because we're not feeding the animals once they get out to the river. I mean, just like a rancher would take cattle and move it around, you know, to different paddocks. I mean, we're not doing that, but every tide cycle for the oysters is another paddock. It's another, you know, uh, another billion gallons of algae and water that flow through here. So the wild oysters are, 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 are a third of the price of my oyster. You know, just by virtue of how they're being created. You know, they're being created with state tax dollars, essentially, which keeps their prices down. So I have to compete against that, which makes it very difficult for me to do business. I mean, I was going to the seafood distributors to try to sell my oyster for the price I was asking. They were laughing me out of the place. And then I would market the restaurants, and then I would tell the restaurant, buy my oyster at your distributor. So then the restaurant's calling the distributor and saying, I want chop tax sweets. All of a sudden, this guy who didn't want my oyster two months ago calls me up and says, hey, I need your oyster because one of my best customers is asking for it. You know, so you start selling them five boxes a week, and next thing you know, it's 10 boxes a week and 20 boxes a week, and then you're in order for 30, 40, 50 boxes a week. We use our own broomstock, so what we do is, is as we're going through and harvesting our oysters, when we come across those extraordinarily fast-growing, beautiful-shaped oysters, we set them aside. And then when it comes time to run the hatchery, we'll take those oysters that we've deemed you know, appropriate and we spawn those oysters. So we bring them in in January, we keep them real warm, we feed them a lot, we, we fool the oysters into thinking it's summertime, which is when they spawn, and that's when we spawn them in the hatchery and then we take their young and we, we grow them. Oyster farming is not really novel. I mean, they've been doing it for you know, hundreds of years. It's just new here. Why? Why do you think it's so, in your opinion, why is it new here? Because the state has been involved, essentially, in oyster aquaculture for the past you know, 100 years by either moving animals around the bay or, you know, Horn Point, University of Maryland, producing millions and millions of seed oysters and then dumping them down onto the bottom of the bay for the watermen to come and collect. I mean, that's oyster aquaculture. You know what I mean? It's a very rudimentary form of it, but it is. You know, if, if, if a waterman's going and harvesting oysters off a bar, and those oysters were produced in a hatchery on the Choptank River, is that a wild harvest? Our, our oyster population is at such a low point in, in our history, but we're still taking oysters out and eating them. You know, there's a lot of people that say, I don't want to take that oyster out of it. I want to leave it there, you know what I mean, to reproduce and to help filter the water. You know, what we're doing is we're giving an alternative.